Hello and welcome back to another episode of my Leicester City Save on Football Manager 2022. In the last episode, we took on FC Porto in the Euro Cup second knockout round first leg and Burnley in the league. Today, we'll be taking on Porto in the second leg and then Aston Villa in the league. If you've not checked out the previous episode, please go and do so before enjoying this one, or hopefully enjoying this one. And if you do enjoy this one, please do leave a like on the video and subscribe with notifications on so you're not to miss out on more like this in future. Further playthrough saves, experiments and challenges now that Football Manager 2022 is officially out, not as the beta version. Now let's jump straight into things. This is the side we are going with against Porto in the second leg at the King Power. Peter Schmeichel is not in goals. Kasper Schmeichel is. I'd be concerned if Peter Schmeichel was in goals. Pereira, Fafana, Soyuncu and Luke Thomas, the back four, with Ndidi, Tielemans and Sumari is back in, thank goodness. Barnes and Madison out wide in support of Belotti with Jamie Vardy suspended. We've cobbled together somewhat of the bench. A lot of players unavailable, unregistered, injured. As I said, suspended. Not great, but we should have enough about us to get through this tie and get into the next round. We're sticking with a more defensive 4-3-3 perhaps, just to start with, and hopefully the home advantage as well, as our quality will be enough to get us through. And here we are, we are underway at the King Power. But it's Porto start with the highlight. They've given the ball to us still, so that's very nice. And we have obliged by giving them the ball back. So, you know, just two friendly sides here. Nothing, nothing to see. As they pass it around the backs quite nicely. Chance on Ben by the next Newcastle man. Gives it away. Very kind of him also. As Belotti's been set through in my... And Ben Bad does have pace about him. Not enough to catch him. And Belotti has scored. 1-0 up. The man who wants to leave us we're in has put us 1-0 up inside three minutes. A better start than I could have imagined, let me tell you that, after the last episode. Great ball in behind, he was set free after Mbemba gave it away, and a great finish. The keeper did not stand a chance. Oh god, I hope we can keep him. He's bloody brilliant, isn't he? Not sure why I've said any there, as if I am... I don't know, from the, the north the north of England? I, I don't really know. My, my, I apologise. But anyway, we've got the ball again. I'll just I'll just give up. I'll just stop talking about that now. Yuri Tielemans putting the, getting the ball in the box. No, yes, Sumari hit, hit the bar. I've got to keep that segment in now, don't I? Uh, I'm sorry that you had to witness that. Please don't, please don't click off the video. It'll get better, I promise. A good tackle there from Oliveira. But we are all over them. We're just getting to every second ball. It's fantastic. And, and again, there we go. Despite them getting their foot in, we're there to collect up the scraps. Okay, yes. Oh, oh my goodness, we've hit the post again. The woodwork again. I apologize again. It's a lot of agains. There's a lot of apologies. I'll just need to calm down a little bit, I think. About half an hour gone and we have a free kick on the edge of the area. Yuri Tielemans hits it and doesn't score. It's been put in the back of the net by Belotti. Going to be ruled out for offside, I presume. But it'll go to VAR. I think he maybe was offside, but I'll take it if not. It was disallowed. I won't take it then, because it, it was offside. We'll see it again, though. I didn't realise this was going to happen. I keep forgetting what replays I've got on. Yeah, just a touch offside from Belotti, but that's the striker's instinct we like to see. I don't, I can't, won't complain. Madison goes in at the near post, headed over by Fafana. We're all over them. A second goal before half time would be lovely. Okay, didn't expect that to happen, as you can probably tell. They've gone long. Luke Thomas takes it down. A goal now, perfect before half time, as that was ambitious. That was ambitious from James Madison, but we've been giving the ball back from the, another loose ball from the Porto side there. Ricardo bombing down the right hand side has found Bubakar, Bubakari Sumari. That's it. That's it. Oh, God above. He's still pressing though. Get in there, mate. Yes, that is brilliant aggression. And he was looking for Belotti in the middle. Unfortunately, cut out. Hit it, Luke Thomas. Close. Goodness me, it is all go. Another highlight. Thomas bombing down that left-hand side. This is better than, than what we've seen from him recently. That cross was not quite better. But Ricardo hits it and makes it 2-0. He hit the bar in the last episode. Maybe even the episode before. I can't quite remember. Great finish there. 2-0 up for half-time. I'd like to think we won't throw this away by now, but it is Football Manager. And more importantly than that, it is indeed me. So it's very possible. Good finish, though. And we're in at half time, it has to be said, deserved leaders looking at those statistics. 
2-0, our third goal early in the second half would kill it off. Not going to change anything yet. Let's get that third goal. Let's not rest on our laurels and go again. They've played brilliantly so far. Porto have barely had a sniff. Luke Thomas is injured as I was singing his praises. Fantastic. James Justin then coming on at left back. Bertrand injured. Thomas injured. Thank goodness we've got so many fullbacks. Hello, Kalecci. And here is indeed the middle party's found two men, both on yellow cards. A little bit of a concern there. I'll have to think about that. Should we get that third goal? Don't want them suspended for the next round by any means. Sumare, he's got Ricardo on the outside. Yes, get it across, maybe. Oh, good save by Marche as it goes back across. And Tielemans adds a third. And on that note, he's going to come straight off. Take that applause. Say, soak it up. He deserves it. He deserves it. All Brighton's going to come on for a cameo on the left-hand side. That's two episodes in a row he's appeared in. Goodness me, that... He must be wondering what's going on. But we are res just so clinical uh, in terms of going forward. We just don't give them a chance. We they've been suffocated this whole game. They've barely had the ball, let alone any chances. Can we keep this up going in towards the back end of the season? That would be nice. Yes, please. Thank you. They're a very polite football manager. I, I respect that. Oh, friend! Oh, new friend! James Justin finds Mark Albrighton with a throw in and he goes again. Fantastic. James Madison back down the line. Oh, headed over by Bellotti. That would have been fantastic, but alas, no. They Oh, they, they have the ball. That was a surprise. They've given it away, though. Not quite a surprise. I expected Porto to be better than this. Okay, they held us in the first leg, but they've just not laid a finger on us. Other than there, thank you for making me look like a knob, Oliveira. Stonewall penalty for the foul on Sumari there. They'll go to VAR. There's no point. It's definitely a penalty. Yes. Who's going to take it though? Madison. Fantastic. Just what we want. An ex-Aberdeen player. Will he score? Literally no relevance there that he's an ex-Aberdeen player. Just wanted to get it in there again. I'll mention it any any opportunity. He scored a great free kick against Rangers in case you didn't know. And he stuck away that penalty very, very well. Keeper went the right way. Did not get there so far in the corner. Powerful, not a chance for the goalie. Oh no. Right, clean sheet. That would be lovely. I will probably take the tempo and things down a little bit just so we keep the ball, look after it. Don't overstrain ourselves, overexert ourselves. That's what I was trying to say. And pick up any more injuries than we already have, essentially. Well taken down by Fafana there. Absolutely brilliant. As he steps out from the back, we do have a big game against Aston Villa on the horizon in this, this episode also, which. I have got in mind, and I will be taking off in DD, not only because he's important with 50 minutes to go for that next game, but also because he's on the yellow, we don't want him, him to get suspended again. It wouldn't surprise me at all. Let's just see this out, please. Tempo. I was going to do that, wasn't I? Yes. Passing the moving, the tempo. Passing, moving, tempo. We're playing with a cautious mentality now. The tempo's been moved down. We're wasting time and all that good stuff. But we almost had another one. We thought that would work at least three times in this game. It could have been so, so much more than four. Imagine if they'd all gone in and we just papped Porto 7-0. But 4-0 will absolutely do. A brilliant performance going into that Villa game. We're into the next round. You'll probably remember better than I do who we might have in the next round of the Euro Cup. But we will find out. Absolutely brilliant from everyone involved there. In all honesty, I think we could have played with Peter Schmeichel in goals there. It is Real Sociedad we will face in the next round. I forgot about that. I apologise. Luke Thomas out for four weeks. That's not great at all. And we've also just beat Francisco Concesau's dad's side. So... Sorry about that, Papa Concesau. Concesau. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below if you do know. I should really know by now. And now going into this game against Aston Villa, we currently sit fourth in the league as they sit sixth. Man City in between us. We're currently two points clear of them who go and play Tottenham at White Hart Lane. So it's by no chance the easiest game. We obviously did not win there, did beat Man City. We really need this win. We want to cement ourselves into the top four with on the home stretch, essentially. And with a chance for Man City to drop points, this is a good opportunity. We also are going to rotate slightly less than we normally would as we are going into an international break. So the only changes from the last game is Castagna and James Justin coming in at the fullbacks positions. 
Pereira is absolutely knackered and obviously Thomas and Bertrand both suspended we're just going to go with the same formation as well we can always adjust it later on Villa no mugs let's see if we can show them who's boss and show them who runs the Midlands most importantly and we are underway at the King Power a first Aston Villa highlight perhaps however as they work it very very nicely passing it around us as if we're not there which is a bit of a concern to and Zabi, are we gonna have a little bit of a Euro Cup hangover I certainly hope not a brilliant performance let's see if we can kick on in the league and carry on from where we left off to Buendia down the right hand side though has put it across is looking for Leon Bailey and he's knocked it down wow John McGinn's shot blocked there. Thank goodness for that, whoever that was, I'm not quite sure. As Bandia looks to take the corner, he puts it in and it's gone straight over the back post. This is not the start we would like. It looks a bit hairy, I won't lie. We do have a throw in though. Barnes finding Telemans. I think that's James Justin off on the sideline with a little injury. Sumari knocks it down. It's booted clear, to be fair. But it's taken down well by Fafana. And now with Ndidi. Right, come on, let's work this nicely. They've got a man off the park too. It's 10 versus 10 currently. They've got options. That is a good ball from James Madison. And Castagna hoys it back in. Hit the bloody woodwork again. Now, Aston Villa have a free kick and they've hit the woodwork too. That one sprung up against me there. On me. I am struggling. I think it's the heat. The lights are absolutely roasting. This jumper is thick. I don't know why they thought this was a good idea. I think it's affecting my performance, and I, I apologise for that. But hopefully you'll stick with me. Sakari has gone in behind and scored. Oh dear, on the stroke of half time. Why does it mean much to separate the sides so far? If anything, I maybe see Aston Villa and don't deserve that goal, but they've got it regardless, so it doesn't matter what I think, does it? It's a well worked goal in behind. Oh, fullback's caught too high. Fafana left with too much to do on his own there, really. Good finish by an injured Zakaria, though. Why is it so difficult? Thank goodness it's half time. I think we're going to go and lie down for 15 minutes. I'll be back. A few moments later. We're changing to the more attacking 4-3-3. Vardy comes on for Bubakari Sumari. Madison drops into midfield. And we've got the three-pronged attack of Barnes, Bellotti and Vardy. Hopefully we can get through this. I told them I'm not happy at half time. As the second half does get underway, confirmation of that change there. Come on, we need this. Man City are probably going to go and beat Tottenham now that I've given it the big ins. Three points here would be lovely. Still things not quite going our way though with 65 minutes on the clock. It's a great ball in and Buendia's headed over. We've been let off the hook there. Thankfully he's not got quite the real prowess of perhaps Ollie Watkins or, well, Fafana. Similar, I would say. Belotti and Barnes both having absolute stinkers, delivering 6.3 and 6.1, respectively. So they both come off. Pat and Daka and Colette Gihanaccio have both got points to prove. They're both very, very capable. 20 minutes to go. Can we at least nick a draw here? Emi Wendia's free kick has gone in. It's headed out by Fafana, but Mings just gets there in time. Puts it back in. Headed clear once again. Oh my God, it's block central over here. Tyrone Mings on the right foot delivering the cross there. Consap. Yes, brilliant stuff from Kelechi Nacho combining with Madison. Play him in behind, maybe get it across something. Goodness me. James Justin back in sound. Okay, we'll recycle it. This is nice. See if we can fashion a better chance than forcing it. Telemans out to Fafana. There is options ahead of them. Yes, get it out right. Okay, don't. That is terrible. That is abysmal. That is questionable. Goodness me, I'm not quite sure what happened there. <sighs> But unfortunate not to get a decent chance. Madison, that's a free kick. It's on the edge of the area. It's not in the box. It's a free kick. Oh, very annoying. I'll be very shocked if it's a penalty. Yeah. Edge of the box. Can we still make them pay, though? A decent chance to get the ball in the box. We've got aerial prowess. Soyuncu and Fafana will be up from the back. But Lottie is no longer on the pitch. But Soyuncu has scored. It was as good as a penalty, really. We're great at set pieces. They're basically equal opportunities for us. Fantastic ball in from James Madison there towards Soyuncu at the back post. Yeah, there was only going to be one winner there. The big Turk nods home past Emmy Martinez. Nowhere near it. Ten minutes to go. I don't really know what to do now. 
We're going to go for it slightly more. Nothing too drastic. Though. We're pressing higher up the park. Get in their faces this last sort of 10 minutes. And we're taking the directness up a little bit more too. See if we can stretch them and get in behind perhaps. Two very quick strikers. Passendak I think got 17 pace in actual 14-15-2. As well as Jamie Vardy, let's not forget. Fredericks into Matty Cash. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Thank God for that. Perhaps one more chance in this game, and it looks like it's going to be Aston Villa's. Are we going to nick in and steal it, perhaps? Targets going down the line to Anwar Al Ghazi. Let's get in at them, please. Snap at their heels, anything necessary. Guess get in there. Oh my god, somebody put a foot in. Vardy has done so. We've won a throw in. What was the point of that highlight? Unless we're going to see something here, and um, it could be full time, it wouldn't surprise me. Castagna, come on then, let's have it. That is disgusting. Get the ball in the box. Why are we seeing all this if nothing's going to happen? Surely something's going to happen. Madison puts it in. Iheanacho didn't get there. Watkins on the break. Oh, not all this for a... What is happening? What was the need for all that? It just got me excited. Probably got you excited for nothing. 1-1. One, one. Perhaps should have won that game. Not a disaster. Villa obviously sixth. Let's just hope City don't go and win. That would be nice. Well, you will not believe what's just happened. I know what you're thinking. I probably jinxed it. Man City win. You would be so wrong, it's unbelievable. 5 0 Tottenham. Thanks very much for doing us a favour, lads. That 0 0 draw with them not looking so bad now. Goodness me, they've absolutely walloped them. And it turns out we've actually gained a point on Manchester City today, so all in all, pretty good. Into the next round of the Euro Cup and better off in the league than I thought we were going to be. Fantastic. A great success. And we will be back in the next episode with the quarterfinal first leg against Real Sociedad, Real San Sebastian, and we're going to take on Newcastle too. I think that'll be interesting. 13th in the league, big powerhouses these days with all their money. We'll see how that goes. Please do leave a like on this video if you're excited for the next one and you enjoyed this one too. Subscribe if you have not already. If you're still watching by now and you've not subscribed, please do. You're enjoying it. Ding that notification bell too so you know when the next episode goes live. As I said, experiments and challenges too to come now that the full game is out. And also, it might not look like it, but I am taking part in Movember with a few of my friends. So I will leave the details and all that in the description below if you fancy checking that out and maybe donating if you can, what you can. Absolutely fine. Thank you very much. I appreciate it regardless. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Please take care and I'll see you next time.